Hey folks, we're here again, been a while. I've been working a lot, so that's why we hadn't been doing a lot of vlogging and talking to y'all. And so this morning was the first Saturday I've had off in about a month, ain't it? Yeah. And I've been wanting to go to up North Alabama Speedway to a, to a race up there all year. And tonight, the, the USCS Sprint Cars is going to be up there. Um, this track is not quite as... It's, it, it's a lot smaller than Magnolia down at Columbus that we usually go to, and we've put on the video before now. So, but this morning I got up, me and my dad, I've been needing to do some tree trimming and stuff, and I had a big old dead pine tree. I started to film it and show it to y'all, but... I didn't have extra time to do it and we was trying to get that done and before it got too hot on us this morning. And I've been needing to change oil in my tractor for about a year now and I finally got around to doing it. Me and my dad done that this morning. Got a few other things done. So we're headed up North Alabama Speedway right now. Me and Stephanie are. She's driving. I didn't want to drive right now, so I'm going to let her drive, which is fine. All I can say is driving your truck makes a lot of profit. She's been saying that for years, folks. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, give you a little story. North Alabama's in Tuscumbia, Alabama. I don't know if y'all know where that's at, but that's where uh, Helen, Keller. Helen Keller is from. I don't know where y'all you know, ever heard of Helen Keller. The deaf blind girl. The deaf girl. blind girl. Yeah, they made movies about it and books. We learned about her in school, but learned. I don't know if it's because she was local. But yeah. y'all might have. But I'm going to try to give y'all some video of us going up and down the, up the road up through here. We'll be back with y'all shortly. Hey folks, we're back, giving y'all a little update on on our travels today. We're, we just stopped up here in Red Bay and got us a little bite to eat of lunch. Stopped up at Jack's. First time up, first time we've had Jack's in a long time. We don't have one. We don't have a Jack's close to the house. Whoa, bumping road. We got one that's like an hour and a half away in the same town that the Magnolia race tracks in. But um, the folks that work there. They're not very clean people. They've, they've, Let's put it like that to you. They've went to jail for putting specific things on the sandwiches that weren't supposed to be on the sandwiches. Yeah, so mm -mm. you don't eat at that one. Do not eat at the Jackson Columbus. Mississippi. There's Columbus in almost every state. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I'd say we're about almost halfway to, to the racetrack. Right yes, you're going to turn right up. Not yet. Up here at the big billboard. Yes. So, all right. We're fixing to turn up this highway. Some folks may call it different things, but I call it 247. All right, folks. We'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Talk to y'all a little bit later.
Okay, folks, I don't know if you, how good y'all can hear me or not, but uh, I'm going to show y'all some of this up Highway 247. This road's a two-lane <coughs> road, as you can see, and it's sort of up and down hills. We're going, if I can find it, if I can get the camera rolling before we get there, I got something kind of neat to show y'all. And I want y'all to look it up when y'all see it online and stuff like that. I mean, when we tell y'all about it. And it's a pretty interesting place. I don't know how good y'all can tell, but look how this road goes down. some of them rolling hills that I was talking about and every time we come up through here me and Stephanie have always said asked to question each other actually why does folks think we don't live in the mountains as in when we say the mountains like the Smoky Mountains because it's rolling hills up through here and look it looks like the foothills. It looks, it looks like you're in, I don't know, Gatlinburg almost, up through here. Like getting there. Mm hmm getting there. When you're headed up there, right around Chattanooga Way and stuff. But we don't live in the foothills. Yeah, we don't live in the foothills. Yeah, we don't live in the foothills. We don't live in the foothills. What is that, then? What is this? Y'all have a good... Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that, y'all. Good y'all can see it, but pretty nice looking corn patch right here for passing it. I don't know if any of y'all care about corn crops and all. I'm not a farmer, but I enjoy supporting my local farms. Everybody needs to support their local farmer. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have nothing to eat. It's as simple as that, folks. Well, Jeff, I love you. I couldn't on. get the camera going fast <laughs> enough. Was Facebook instead of keeping a lookout for what he was looking for. Hey, tell him honesty. <laughs> I, I got the truth. That's what I was doing. I was on Facebook and good. Tell him what you wanted them to say that you didn't get to show them. All right, up through here there is a cemetery. It's called Coon Dog Cemetery, and it's exactly what the name of it is. World Championship Coon Dogs from all over the country and I think all over the world are buried here, up here in this graveyard. Folks come from all over to it. And there's, when I say tombstones out there, there's tombstones out there that are bigger than some human tombstones. Just thought I'd share that with y'all. But I dropped the ball on that and didn't do too hot and I'm gonna show y'all my hat y'all go follow the find them on Facebook Hollis Farms on Facebook especially on uh, YouTube they have a lot of interesting things and they race they do a lot of raising racing but uh, go give them a like and Stephanie's trying not to run over this vehicle in front of us because they don't know how to drive. I'm trying to get where I'm going and these folks are going in. Y'all see them? Alright, I'm going to let y'all go for now and I'll check back with y'all. Okay. 
Okay folks, here's the racetrack. I'm gonna try to go on in here and try we to get us a in? spot. Yes. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'm sorry. We're on past it. We're going on in here and try to get us a spot for the race tonight. Out front out here is a drag strip as soon as you turn in the door. I don't know the if gate, they not a door. right in the gate, excuse <laughs> me y'all. I don't know if they even drag race up here anymore or not. But this is a, uh, this place has been up here for many years. Isn't it this one that Landy comes to now? I don't think so. And I don't know if you would call that a hill or a mountain, but this right here is what is the, the, the view of when you're sitting in the bleachers. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful scenery around up here. Got a lake out here. Uh huh. You can just mark on their, their road. Yes. There's a few folks already sitting out here. I don't know how good y'all can see them. I'm trying to hold it steady, but it ain't working out too good. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Park over by that white car? Like yes. 